Hey, it's Scott here from Battery Works. Just wanted to show you a little gizmo that's come out from uh, Victron recently. Uh, it's called a V-Bus Smart Dongle. And um, check that out. It's got some, it's got a V-Bus port. It's got uh, a little uh, connection block on there. It comes separately, some couple of cables coming with it. And uh, it's even got some new boot tape on the back reason for the tape on the back is that it can be mounted directly onto a, a battery uh, and it will read the temperature of the battery through the, uh, through the wall of, of, the, of the case and um, you can use it like a, a temperature sensor like that. Um, the way I've set it up for this, this system here is I've used the um, temperature sensor cable that you usually um, order for a, a BMV 712 battery monitor uh, that's the same one and i've plugged that in instead to get a real accurate temperature reading off the battery and uh, i suppose why do we need one of these things so what this guy does it gives you an, op uh, an option um, to have bluetooth connectivity with these big v bus products whether they build anything with v bus so multi plus multi grid quattros Phoenix inverters, you name it. Um, so it can give you a limited amount of um, access and information. It doesn't tell you everything, um, but it does give you an option in case you don't need a, a color control. Um, you know, these guys are a, a fairly big ticket item and they do a really good job and they do a lot of, um, give you a lot of information. They also do system monitoring you know, for around the globe. So this is, you know, if you need to have that internet access and that remote monitoring, this is just for, this is Bluetooth, so this is local. So it's a bit of a transition product until the day when all these things get Bluetooth built into them. Just like they did when they had with the uh, MPPTs with the blue solar to the smart solar. So what do you see when you, so, oh, one little thing. You, when you've got this plugged in and this plugged in, you can have both in at the same time, but the colour control becomes the boss. So this guy gets um, whatever information gets taken by the colour control and by the um, Quattro in this case, and um, he doesn't get to say much say in how it looks. But that's fine, because so, if you've got one of those, you know one of that, that's be doing the job. So we've mounted one just down the bottom here because our battery bank is outside and I just want it here for display purposes um, and I'll just run the cables obviously through that hole that hole is not my work that was already here I promise um, so I've disconnected the color control uh, so it's not interfering because I want you guys to just sort of have a quick look at the screenshot just have, get an idea of what you see from one of these guys so I'm just going to open this up, open my phone up, get the Victron Connect app. Um, I've already got it loaded up, no surprise there. Um, comes up on the device list. When you first connect it, you'll get both. So you connect to that first to make sure that firmware is updated and then it'll, then it'll connect to this. And it comes up, boom, that guy, I can see that guy on my Bluetooth now. So if you wanted to come in and have a look at that. So that's what I can see. There's an overview and it's showing the temperature. It's showing how much power is being used. Three and a half amps. That load is the fluoro lights in this room. Um, I've got that. So it gives me my voltage, my power, the current, the frequency, state of charge current coming out of the battery, temperature, uh, the state of the state of the quattro, which is inverting. Over here you've got the mode, you have charger on, inverter on, off, so I can remotely switch, becomes a remote mobile switch. Um, and I've, you can see my um, current limiting on my, on my AC1 and my AC2. AC1 being the generator of size, the generator. Um, for that, but haven't connected it yet. So um, that gives you a bit of a, a look as to, oh, that's the other thing. One more thing before I let you go. We'll do a little bit of a, we'll just come over here. 
and um, I'll turn that off so the mains are now off and that should go clunk in a second as soon as it matches the sine wave and we should get some lights on here clunk bang and look back here it's changed so it's now telling you there's power coming in from AC2 which in this case is the mains thanks very much talk to you soon